That wasn't fun. I don't know. Let me see if I can uh, yeah, try something. Try something new. <laughs> okay. The first order of uh, business is um, we have a we had uh, Jonah Mendelbaum and uh, Vince Peterzak come and request uh, high density housing on Route 17A, also known as the McEwen property. And uh, we had our attorney uh, research this and also speak with our professionals on board. And uh, Dennis, I'll turn it over to you for your comments. Not a problem. Yeah, not. Can I just say what I'm saying? Certainly. Oh, yeah, you should. I, uh, yeah. Yes, I just want to. I'm just going to uh, make it public and on the record that I'm recusing myself from the proceedings due to the fact that uh, my wife works for Jonah Miles Brown, so I don't think it's right for me to pass judgment on this decision. Oh, okay. And we're not going to vote on this. Well, no, but I'm just. No, no, just yeah. so you know. Uh, and the, the public knows that this is not a vote, this is just a request for yeah, right. the city. But, but and that's where we're at, so there's not going to be any official action. No, but I think it's a point well taken. Good, good. Uh, because yeah. when I spoke to uh, Mr. Capello, and because of his involvement, family involvement, sure. it's best to avoid all criticism or, or any appearance of any impropriety. And yeah. the best way to do that is just to recuse himself and not participate good. in any discussion. Thank you. you know, for or again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes. No problem. Uh, yeah, uh, as the board, I believe, is aware, we, we are submitted maps at our last session, and I don't know how many of you had a chance to review surveys or planning department work on it. But it's section 13, block 1, lot 10.12. It is the appears to be the third parcel uh, of land on the uh, northwest side of 17, which the human family owns. The first parcel closest to 17A is zoned RU. This particular parcel is zoned CO, uh, commercial office area. And again, it's very problematic because it doesn't fit with our zoning. It would require a complete zone change, which arguably, or we'd be subject to criticism potentially, that it was a spot zoning and it was possibly set precedent. But uh, more importantly, it doesn't even, unfortunately, it doesn't comply with our uh, comprehensive plan either. If you refer to section 9714, uh, specifically, the language of the CO district, the purpose of the CO district is to allow larger scale non-residential uses that contribute to the town's tax base and provide jobs while protecting the scenic and rural world, etc. Now, was the thought in the rezone back in 2008 was that this uh, was to be a commercial property, and I think that that was the long-term goal, if you will, for planners and whatnot. So it's going to be problematic to move on something like that. Uh, but of course, again, it's, it's within your uh, discretion, if you will, as, as any zone change is. Uh, also, I spoke with any number of people in the town, town officials and otherwise, with regards to fire manic, safety issues, service issues, et cetera. And there is concern about the location and the makeup or the, the facility would constitute. That's always subject to change. Like I would tell anybody when they first uh, made any reaction, good or bad, that look, this is just a proposal and it could morph who knows where and to what. But uh, with that background, uh, you're going to have a difficult task. But again, uh, that's status-wise where we are at the moment. Okay. Now, also, I would recommend and why I think the board made a good decision to refer it, not, not to me necessarily, to anyone, is that in fairness, both to the town, the community, town board and the community, and also the applicant, you, you don't want to, uh, this leads too strong a word, but you don't want to, delay or be in any way dilatory because if it's favorable, let them get working. If it's not, you don't want them to expend money, time, and effort on a uh, potentially a fruitless call. Appreciate it. Board members? I feel the same way. Uh, I concur with Dennis. This is a, not a special use permit or anything no. like that. This would be an actual zoning change. Uh, we have requested, we have someone else that requested this thing. Change, I think, or a special use. We're looking at it. But in any yeah, way, we get these all the time. This kind yeah. of thing. We, we don't want to set a precedent on a spot zone. And it's an interior parcel. There's no road frontage. You got all. Right. You've got a myriad of issues, yeah. and that's it's going it's to be difficult. Uh, and I don't want to see the applicant. Anyway. I mean, everybody is free to make applications. Not sure. around, but I, I don't want to see anyone spend a lot of money for something that may not. 
could be desirable based on our zoning. Sure. I, mean, I, I agree with this bill. I mean, it's not now zoning, and I'm not one, one in favor of changing now zoning at this point. They want to come to change and discuss in the future with this application. No. And um, I know Doug has looked at it, and he basically feels the same way as we have said, and oh. he discussed it before he left, and uh, I feel the same way too. So I guess at this particular point, the uh, answer is no. Right, and I think that probably should be communicated to them, perhaps by Doug, in the form of a letter, when he mm -hmm. returns, say okay. one day when he get out for the end of the week or the week next week. Right. Right. But I would recommend that uh, they not be left in limbo. Right. Oh, so no. No, 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 yeah. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah I agree with Phil. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Uh, we move on to the number two um, president, Mr. Stack. Mr. Stack was supposed to appear tonight, and uh, I guess um, early this morning uh, he called the office and said that his professional that was coming with him would not be able to attend. And um, he didn't exactly say that he wouldn't attend, so we left it on the agenda, but Mr. Stack is not here, so I guess we'll move on. Just a quick comment on that. Uh, if that has to do with signage, 17M. Uh, he's been told numerous times to come to this board because what he's proposing, illumination, backlighting, uh, not scroll, but again, <coughs> uh, not permitted. The planning board can do nothing for him. The building department can do nothing for him. Uh, the board, like any zoning change, etc., you can change your order. And he was also told to come with his professionals only because. It's a very technical proposal, mm -hmm. uh, even though you would understand it, obviously, in terms of lighting and signing. Uh, so I would assume he probably is not here tonight, in fact, if in fact his professionals do not come. You made the request, George, to come to the next work session. Next work session is supposed okay. to this Thursday. Uh, yeah. Taken off the okay. agenda. Yeah. 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 Strike it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we move on to number three. I discussed the approved proposal for the uh, Orange County District Attorney's Office uh, to have our court officers carry weapons. There's a letter in your packet. And it's addressed to the town board from uh, both justices. Town Justices Sion and Van Hasta respectfully request that at the uh, work session on June 25th, the town board approve our court attendance to carry their weapons during court sessions. Attach will find certification that they are both licensed to carry a pistol. If you request any further information, Justice Sion and or Justice Van Hasta, uh, speak to them, please advise us. So we have our two core officers here who I am told they are retired from the Office of Court Administration. I guess they've worked in New York City and uh, they now are working for us on a part-time basis. Um, well, from what Doug told me, and I think people understand this, there was that incident that occurred in Middletown, and uh, that has caused great concern in uh, the courts throughout the whole county. So therefore, this request. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. Okay. We have a motion, a second, any discussion? My understanding is that there's no no reason uh, in uh, uh, pay whatsoever. These uh, uh, these gentlemen are licensed to uh, carry uh, pistols and they don't. Uh, okay. Any other discussion? So uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carry. We're just moving this right along. Next, we have, um, <laughs> we have a, uh, a joint town village meeting scheduled for 7.30 p.m. on July 23rd uh, to discuss the Solution Park and or uh, other JRC issues. Uh, my understanding is the meeting is to be held here at the town hall because we're going to have that meeting and then uh, morph into our own meeting if necessary. So uh, we have to advertise this, correct, Dennis? Yes. yes. And it's already been advertised. Oh, it's already been advertised. Okay. And it is here, Town Hall, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, Val, okay. that needs to be obviously posted in the village, too. Yeah. And I assume we coincide with newspapers, but you better check it a little bit. Yeah, I talked with them. Oh, okay, good. Good, thanks. Real good, now. We try. We try. Yes. Okay. Uh, next. On the list is the uh, Goshen Soccer Club. There's a letter in your packet from the Goshen Soccer Club. Uh, Jason Pucci. 
we have a possibility to be able to donate twenty thousand dollars to address the drainage issues at Craigville Park. Our possible donation is contingent upon a seventy-five hundred dollar contribution from the village of Goshen and the town of Goshen and the approval of a water truck donated by Delancey's in Goshen with their name on it. We also have secured access to water for the water truck. We believe that the $35,000 will complete cross-field drainage, which would put the park in position to take advantage of any potential topsoil which, would, uh, which could become available to properly crown the fields. We also could be in a position to start addressing the drainage issue on the shared Little League Miners Field and our under 10 soccer field. We would like to have immediate consideration of this proposal as we are not sure how long this offer will be available. So uh, Jason and Mike Toscano came to a meeting that I believe we held on Thursday, right? Phil, you were there? And um, essentially we talked about this issue. Uh, if this proposal uh, does go through, the $7,500 will come from the Parkland account. The Parkland account, uh, as of uh, this morning, uh, when I spoke to Bill, I believe was, I wrote it on your agenda. Do you have that there, Dennis? It was $49,000, I believe. You know, I, I, yeah, um, 49000 even, correct. Yeah, $49,000 is actually in the kitty in, in Parkland, so we do have enough money to, um, to uh, cover this if we so desire. So, uh, I'll make that motion. Okay, we have a second? Second. Second. Oh. A second? Discussion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they also went to the village when they met with us and discussed it with the village and the village agreed uh, in their $7,500. So, uh, we were in agreement. We checked. We made sure we had enough money. They mentioned the truck with the name on it and the name of the Lancey's family restaurant would be on the donated truck without any phone numbers or any advertising. But they are the ones that will donate this truck. So, uh, for water. Uh, it was a good meeting. And uh, it was very, very positive. And we're going to work very hard and do a lot to improve those fields with little money. So, uh, yeah, I, I worked with Mike in the okay. past 10 years ago. He's a great guy. So the, organization. the only question I have, where are they going to get the water from? Uh, there's a park, uh, park, a farm on Maple Avenue. They specifically mention the name of the farm. I don't recall it at this particular point, but that's where the that's where the it's legal for them to take water from some other <laughs> property. I mean, Goshen we can't take minerals and soils from private property. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what makes it illegal. Right. Yeah. Um, in that in that same vein, uh, Kenny, uh, Doug specifically talked about other alternative sources of okay. water because uh, there was a concern about the even taking the truck that distance, right. you know, so that if we could get a water source that was closer to that, we would do okay. that. I just wanted to make so sure no. we weren't violating yeah. your whole code. I have no problem with the water truck, but the water. No, no, right. I know our code says you cannot take sure. soil and water from your property. That's a good point. We'll have that's to, well, yeah, we'll, we'll have to uh, address that's that. Well, yeah. Sir, that's all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No problem with the donation. Yeah. Right. Okay. So should we have uh, a? Uh, I have one question. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, the uh, the truck, the water truck. Would that when it's donated, it's donated to Joint Rec Department, or is it donated to the Soccer Association? No, no. It's going to be uh, uh, donated to the JRC, right. and it's okay. going to be registered. Through the JRC, it's all right. I just want to sure. yeah. So it's yeah. because it's it's usable for it's all recreation. All the recreation. Yes, I just want to get that clear. And, and yeah. all recreation, not only that, but all fields too. Yeah. Okay. We can that's use the, the water attention. truck for yeah. Bruin Park or any other uh, place with yeah. JRC has, has jurisdiction. He does. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, and uh, I forget what class it is, but okay. he has the proper. We don't want those trucks up. Yeah, you know what? It weighs a little bit. Who's that, Tom? Yeah. Okay. okay. No, no problem. Yeah. So, Dennis, uh, uh, this is a uh, a resolution we should have. Yes, uh, we should do it. We do it orally. Uh, right. Someone uh, move it in a second. Okay, so will somebody like to make this as a motion? I'm in a motion. I think oh, we have a second? I'm sorry. Okay. 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 This is yeah. all, the, all of the phases, including the truck and everything. Right. So, well, who do you guys move? 
Well, I, I, made the, I made the motion. Ken made the motion, and both of you with the seconds. fill or blue? Yeah, whatever. Well, close second. Uh, close second. I yeah. couldn't tell which one. It was, was a it was a no, it was a close second. Blue second. Blue second. Okay. Any other discussion? Nope. Call the question in all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Okay, so now uh, we move to the next thing, which is executive session. Mm. And um, we need a motion to move to executive session to discuss the uh, 58 hearing for Faith versus the Town of Goshen. Uh, review settlement proposal for a tax cert and discuss uh, police department issues with uh, Sergeant Faust. Before we go to George, can I just I have one issue I'd like to make up for the board. Sure. Um, I wasn't here last night. It was last Thursday when you uh, voted to dedicate the park to Myron Dumanski. Right. Um, who, of course, I was sad to see that he passed away. And, you know, like all people, we all have pluses and we all have minuses. And Myron, when it came to the children, in my book, was all pluses. I'd ask for something. Back then, we had a $6,000 budget. And we asked Myron, we need this. Myron would scream and holler if you knew Myron. Are you out of your mind? But the next day, it would be there. So, I just want to record if I was here, I would have supported you 100%. Well, he said that I know Myron has the minus is his political uh, image might be one, one thing, but when it came to the children, uh, in my book, Myron was number one in this town, has a lot to be thankful for Myron Yabansky. Well, we did when we made the motion, we said that we had discussed it with you. Okay, just one more back to Yeah, good. So I had those three things, but I need a motion. Okay. I'll that we move into executive yes. session, but I was so moved. Do we have a second? Second. Any other discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Wow. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for coming no on. Tonight. Um, not for your turn, right? <laughs> yeah. No, I have not for your turn. We have nothing to do. We have nothing to do. We'll be a goal. We'll be a goal. We'll be a goal. We'll be a goal. Yes. I just locked the door. <laughs> well, I thought. Well, I'm in the fridge. <laughs> The lights off. Like, oh, I you yeah. just tied the lights off. Right. You just tied the record, George.